Good morning, body of Christ. Welcome. So here is another short video on whether Jesus saves or Jesus saved. First, let me say, out of the mouth of Jesus himself, when he was on the cross, he said, it is finished. He didn't say it is finishing or it will be finished, but he said it is finished. Past tense, the work has been completed. Here's the thing. Christians nowadays love to twist that scripture. They love to say Jesus saves, like in the future tense. They like to say that, uh, you know, Jesus will save you or he can save you. Uh, you see it in their hymns. You see it in their sermons. You see it in their entertainment. You see it on billboards that Jesus saves. But what does the scripture really say? Did he save or will he save? Past or future tense. Let's take a closer look. Let's see. Let's hop into 2 Corinthians 5.19. Again, concordant. You can find one at the concordant.org. Con, concordant That's a Sasquatch on the back of my Bible. I know I'm weird. Uh, so <laughs> 2 Corinthians 5.19 says, Yet all is of God who conciliates us to himself through Christ and is giving us the dispensation of the consolation, how that God was in Christ, consolating the world to himself, not reckoning their offenses to him, and placing in us the word of consolation. So it was done in the past, it's done. Okay, let's take a look at 1 Corinthians 15, 20 through, two through 23. 1 Corinthians 15. For even as in Adam all are dying, thus also in Christ shall all be made alive, shall all be made alive, or be made vivified, yet each in his own class, first fruit Christ. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that he is saving or he's saved? According to the scripture, he's saved. The, the, the uh, work has been finished, sin has been defeated. It is good news. He saved everybody. He saved the Buddhists, the atheists, the Pharisees, even the Christians. But here's the thing. Not everybody gets saved in um, at the same time. Everybody's going to be entering into the new heavens and the new earth in their own time. So the unbelievers are going to go to the great white throne where they're going to be based or they're going to be judged on their acts. It doesn't even say sins. It says their acts are going to be judged on because Jesus already uh, saved us from our sins. Everybody's sins. Uh, so let's take a look at 1 Timothy 2.6. Let me just hop on over there real quick. 1 Timothy 2.6. Where am I? Oh, God. Okay, here we are. For there is one God and one mediator of God and mankind, a man, Christ Jesus, who is giving himself a correspondent ransom for all to testimony in its own eras. So, people are going to be coming into the kingdom of God at different times. The believers, we have a special salvation, which again, you can find in Timothy. Uh, we will be snatched away at the rapture. We get to reign and rule with Christ. And we get an allotment in the celestials. Now, the unbelievers who Jesus did die for, such as the Buddhists, the Christians, the Pharisees, the atheists, the New Agers, um, they're going to have to go to the great white throne where they'll be judged based on their acts. And they will either get tossed into the lake of fire um, where the, also called the second death, where they'll be dead, completely dead. They're not going to know what's going on. Um, or they're going to enter into the new heavens and the new earth. So it's really good news for everybody. Let's see, what else? God will eventually be all in all. You can find that at 1 Corinthians 15, 28. Let me hop on over there and read it to you. Hmm. Who subjects all to him? Now, whenever all may be subjected to him, then the son himself also shall be subjected to him who subjects all to him, that God may be all in all. So Jesus Christ is the son of God. He is not God himself because even he will be subjected to God. Those people who are in the body of Christ believe that Jesus died for our sins, was entombed, and was raised on the third day by God. He was roused from God. So when Christ was in the grave, he was actually dead. Christians think that Jesus was not dead. So they don't believe that Jesus actually died for their sins. They think that he just his flesh just died, but he actually died. So with that said, find more information. Check out my um, comment below. I'm going to pin it to the top. If you're interested in universal reconciliation, uh, go to those websites that I have. And um, you can find me on Instagram at salvation.all. 
Oh shit, I messed that up. Salvation dot of dot all. You can find me on there. You can uh, shoot me a DM. Don't come to argue with me. People argue with me, I just block you. Sorry, I'm not here to argue with you. I really don't have time for the religious people. <laughs> I can tell you something right now. Since I came to this truth, I've been called every name under the sun. So I used to be a devout KJV only person. I'm actually going to give a testimony of what it was like when I was super religious. But I came in, I don't even want to tell you the words that I've been called on here by the religious, some terrible names. I, you know, it's just awful. Anyway, yeah, so Jesus saved everybody. The work has been complete. God bless guys, have a good day. Um, and I look forward to snatching away and meeting all of you. I can't wait, bye guys.